story is out of Davidson County, Lexington, North Carolina. On March 10th, Friday night around 6 p.m., Davidson County Sheriff's Office was contacted by a special agent working with the Texas FBI Violent Crimes Task Force in reference to a missing 13-year-old girl out of Dallas, Texas. She would be found two weeks later living in a storage shed. They're calling it an outbuilding, but I call it a storage shed. And she was in this storage shed with a 34-year-old man, George Camacho. Apparently, he'd been grooming her for quite some time. They met on a app called Discord, where I believe the younger children, they game on that app, and that's where they met each other. He allegedly offered to pay her to leave her home, in which she did. He actually drove from North Carolina to Texas to pick her up. Camacho's vehicle was caught on a surveillance camera outside of her residence in Dallas with the North Carolina plates so they would be able to track him down. Now, back in North Carolina, FBI Greensboro field office located the vehicle and conducted a traffic stop. It was determined that the juvenile was at 10438 Linwood South Mont Road in Lexington, North Carolina. She wasn't physically injured, they said, but she was taken to a hospital to be evaluated before she would be returned back to her family in Dallas. I decided just to blur out her name, but she's a 13 year old girl. She doesn't look like she's older than what she is. She looks like a 13 year old girl, 14 at the most, but I'm so glad that she was returned back to her home in Dallas because this really could have ended much, much more tragically, definitely. And Camacho, he is going to be in jail for quite a long time. George Ivan Santos Camacho, he has child abduction charges, restraint of a child, statutory R of a child, two counts, statutory sexual offense with a child under 15 years old, two counts, indecent liberties with a child, human trafficking, crossing state lines, gave him a bond of $125 million, so he will not be released. Now, the family that own that storage shed out back, I believe they said they did not see any young girls in that storage shed, and they, they don't know, and they let him stay there because he didn't have a place to stay, was some things that I have read about him. However, there's interviews that you could find on Facebook of even the mother of the young child talking about her missing daughter and the landlords, I'm gonna say, of this storage shed. And they're talking to about they just had no clue about what was going on in that shed. Well, there you have it. So I'm glad that this girl, 13 year old child, was returned home.